We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Hallelujah. Glory. Bless the name of Jesus. Lift your praise to the Lord. Lift your praise to the Lord. Lift him higher. Lift him higher. In one accord. Lift your praise to the Lord. Lift your praise. Lift your praise to the Lord. Lift your praise. Lift your praise to the Lord. Lift him higher. Lift him higher. In one accord, lift your praises to the Lord. Come on and lift your praises. Lift your praises to the Lord. Lift your praise. Lift your praises to the Lord. Lift him higher. Lift him higher in one accord. Lift your praises to the Lord. For he, for he alone is worth to receive, to receive all praise. And glory, lift him higher, lift him higher in one accord. Lift your praises to the Lord, for He, for He, you alone, Lord, alone is worthy. Lord is worthy, Lord, say to receive. Lift your praises to With your hands lifted, say, for he alone, for he alone is worth to receive, to receive all praise and glory. So lift your higher, lift him higher in one. Lift your praises to the Lord, and I will praise you, Lord. With every breath that I take, I will praise you, Lord. It's a promise I made, say, and should eternity end. And start all over again. Even then, I will praise you, Lord. Say, I will praise, oh, I will praise you, Lord. With every breath that I take, say, I will praise you, Lord. It's a promise I made. 
salvation eternity and, and start all over again say even then i will praise you one more time say i will praise you oh i will praise you lord with every breath with every breath that i take oh i will praise you lord it's a promise i made oh and should it turn into end and start all over again even then i will praise you lord say and should it turn into end and start all over again even then i will praise you lord should eternity and should eternity end and start all over again even then i will praise you lord should eternity end and start all over again even then i will praise you lord give it up for god this morning hallelujah come on put your hands together for the king of all kings hallelujah. this morning glorify the lord of lords this morning hallelujah, hallelujah. somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah in the house hallelujah bless the name of jesus hallelujah. somebody offer a sacrifice of praise this morning hallelujah, hallelujah. we worship you lord we worship you god we lift up your name jesus hallelujah 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 somebody bless your god this morning hallelujah he's worthy to be praised he's worthy to be glorified oh god we lift up your name today jesus we thank you god for your many blessings hallelujah we thank you god for your presence with us today we thank you god for keeping us we thank you god almighty for who you are this morning oh god there is none like you we lift you up today god hallelujah we praise you alone today hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless Jesus. the name of Jesus. He alone is worthy to be praised. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. You, Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We exalt thee. We Oh Lord, heart high above. 
if thou art exalted far above all God. So we exalt thee, 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 oh Lord, we exalt thee, we We exalt Thee, O Lord, for Thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth, and Thou art exalted far above all God said for thou for thou O Lord art high above all the earth and thou art exalted far above all God come on and tell him we exalt thee we exalt thee, we exalt thee, we exalt thee, oh Lord, we exalt thee, we exalt thee, we We exalt Thee, O Lord. We exalt Thee. Say we exalt Thee. We the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, give it up for your God this morning. Thank you, Lord. Exalt the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. Oh, Lift your hands in the presence of an awesome God. We glorify the name of Jesus today. Somebody exalt him this morning. Somebody open your mouth and give him the food of your lips. Hallelujah. The God that woke you up this morning. The we God that clothed you in your right you. mind. Uh, somebody exalt him Lord, this morning. Uh, exalt the God of all gods this morning. Uh, hallelujah. We welcome you hallelujah. this morning, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody lift him up. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody glorify him this we morning. Uh, somebody God. exalt him. We hallelujah. Somebody you. lift up the name we of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. We hallelujah. Come on, God has been we good to somebody. Hallelujah. We honor you and we adore you. We bless you. your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody just open your mouth and bless your Hallelujah, God this morning. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord of God, we worship you. Jesus. Lord of God, we magnify you. King of all kings, we 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Say, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 Jesus. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Lion of the tribe of Judah, say. Lion of the tribe of Judah. What a wonder you are. Lion of the tribe, lion of the tribe of Judah. What a wonder you are. Say, lion of the tribe, lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh, what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Lift your hands and say, beautiful rose of Sharon. Oh, beautiful rose of Sharon. What a wonder you are. Beautiful rose, a beautiful rose of Sharon. What a wonder, Lord. What a wonder you are. Beautiful rose of Sharon. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus. What a wonder you are. One more time, say Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder. What a wonder you are. Say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 Jesus. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Lion of the tribe of Judah, say. Lion of the tribe of Judah. What a wonder you are. Say, Lion of the tribe of Judah. What a wonder you are. Lion of the tribe. Lion of the tribe of Judah. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are not a God created by human hands. So you are not a God dependent on any mortal man. So you are not a God in need of. Anything we can give by your plans, that's just the way it is. Say you are not a God created, you are not a God created by human hands. And you are not a God dependent on any mortal man. And you are not a God in the of anything we can give by your plans that's just the way it is for you are God alone from before time began so you are on your throne and you are God alone somebody say right now and right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne, and you are God alone. Somebody say, you're the only God who's power. You're the only God who's power. Come on, lift your voice and say, none can contend. And you're the only God who's name and your praise will never end. Say you're the only God 
who's worthy of everything we can give. You are God, and that's just one more time. Say, so you're the only God who's power. Say, so you're the only God who's power. Come on, somebody just declare it in the house. You're the only God, you're the only God whose name I say your praise will never end. Say, you're the only God, you're the only God who's worthy of everything we can give. You are God, and that's one more time. Tell him, you're the only God whose power is there. You're the only God whose power. None can contend, and you're the only God whose name and say your praise will praise never end. end. You're the only God, the you're only the only God, God who's worthy of everything we can give. You are God, and that's just the way it is. For you are God alone. From before time began, so you are on your throne. Come on, tell him, say, you are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. And you are God alone. Say, you are God alone. From before time began, you are on your throne, and you are God alone. So right now, right now, in the good times, good times and bad, you are on your throne, and you are God alone. Right now and right now. In the good times and bad, you are on your throne, and you are God. Come on, tell him one more time. Right now, and right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne, and you are God alone. One more time, young, right now. The good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Right now, come on, exalt the name of Jesus. You are on your throne, and you are God Come on, right now, in the good times and the bad. Hallelujah. In spite of what we are going through. In spite of our looks. Hallelujah. In spite of how I feel at times. Hallelujah. In spite of what the enemy telling me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. In spite of what is going on around me. He's still God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish somebody would just declare it in the house. In spite of God, you are still God. In spite of what I'm going through. Hallelujah. In spite of what I see. Hallelujah. You are still God. You are still worthy to be praised. You are still to be exalted. You are still to be lifted up. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, you, we Jesus. serve an awesome God. Bless the name of Jesus. Go ahead and bless your God this morning. Hallelujah. Go ahead and bless your God this Hallelujah, morning. Jesus. Go ahead and lift up your God today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Come on, somebody has been good to you. He has been faithful. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah to your name, I Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody oh, magnify hallelujah. him. Somebody exalt him. Thank Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Worthy you, is the Jesus. Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb that was Thank slain you, for me. Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing Hallelujah. good have I done, Jesus. Thank but you, it's all about you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's
it's all about you today, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody Jesus. bless his name. Give him praise Hallelujah. for his grace. Thank Give him praise for his goodness. Thank Give him praise Jesus. for his mercies. Hallelujah for his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Bless the name Thank of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody desperate for his presence today? Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody exalt the name of Jesus. Come on, let us create an atmosphere of worship. Hallelujah. Lift up the name of Jesus. No other name but the name of Jesus is worthy to be praised. God, you are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be lifted up. Come on, I wish there's a worshiper in the house today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Baba, we are in your presence. Oh, let it rain. Pour your rain. So let it fall on me. Baba, we are in your presence. So let it rain. Pour your rain. Let it fall. Say we are, oh, we are in your presence. Oh, let it rain. Say pour your rain. Pour your rain. So let it fall on me, Baba. We are in your presence. Say, let it rain. Oh, cause your rain. Let it fall. Somebody say, open, just open the floodgates in abundance. Come on, tell him, cause your rain. Cause your rain. To fall on me. Somebody say open, open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me. Say Baba, Baba, oh, 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 Baba. We are in your presence as the moderator comes. Say let it rain. Come on, tell him, say, pour your rain. Come on, somebody say, let it fall. Are you desperate today? Oh, we are in your presence. Oh, let it rain. Oh, cause your rain. Let it fall. Say, open the flower. Open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me. Open, open the floodgates in abundance. 
cause your reign to fall on me. Open the floodgates in abundance and cause your reign to fall on me. Hallelujah. this morning glory to the name of God we give you praise this morning God Almighty we lift up your holy name and we honor you this morning praise God hallelujah hallelujah we just want to give thanks to the mighty God this morning we just want to give praise and honor to the Almighty God this morning because he's the one who is responsible for us being here this morning and we are truly thankful this morning to be in his presence. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Listen, we had a dynamic week this week. Amen. Our week of um, convention. And it was an awesome week. I don't know what if you have learned anything from it this week. But there's a lot that I have gathered and learned this week. Praise God. And uh, we should be prepared as the pastor said to start. Showing out all liabilities. Glory, Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, let me first welcome the presence of the Holy Ghost this morning. We give him praise and honor. He's the head of this house this morning. I greet my pastor, Dr. Delroy Chambers, his wife, Minister Evan Chambers, all the ministerial staff this morning, friends and visitors, and all those viewing us by streams, our media this morning. We welcome you this morning in Jesus' name. It's the, um, what we should say, the aftermath of our convention this morning and we are thankful and let me say happy happy mother's day to all the moms in the house this morning praise god it's men's sunday we are few in numbers this morning i see it's only three brothers here this morning so we have to get creative this morning so let's work with me this morning praise god hallelujah praise god this morning we just want to sing we're just going to sing from the um the the booklet, the convention booklet. I want to sing with me from um, book um, page 19. Praise God. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's a wonderful day to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Praise God. Praise God. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open, open, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. 
Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, cause I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. to see you open the eyes open the eyes of my heart lord open open the eyes of my heart i want to see you i want to see you open the eyes open the eyes of my heart lord open the eyes of my heart i want to see you I want to see you, to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing, holy, 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 holy. holy, holy. I want to see you. God, glory to the name of Jesus this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give him praise this morning. We just keep standing with us all of our scripture reading this morning. I'm doing it myself this morning. Praise God. We are turned to um, turn me to Malachi 1. Praise God. I will read I'll turn verses. Bless be to the name of Jesus. When you, when you find it, just stand and say amen. Praise God. Praise God. And it is the last book in the Old Testament. So if you've gone to Matthew, you're too far. Praise God. The last book in the Old Testament, Malachi. Praise God this morning. We all there? Could we all stand to the reading of the word of God? Blessed be to the name of Jesus. Praise God. 
Praise God. We all there? Amen. The burden of the word of the Lord of, to the Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet he say, wherein doth thou love us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau and laid his mountain on his heritage waste for the dragon of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are in provision. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the order of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, The Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Saith the Lord of hosts unto you. O priest, I despise my name. And he say, Wherein have we despised thy name? Ye offered polluted bread upon mine altar. And ye say, Wherein ye have polluted thee? And that ye say, The table of the Lord is, con is contemptible. And if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee, or accept thy person, saith the Lord of hosts? And now, I pray you, beseech God that he will be gracious unto us. This hath been by your, by your means, will he regard your persons, saith the Lord of hosts. For from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles and in every place. Incense shall be offered unto my name, and poor offering of my name shall be great among the Eden, saith the Lord of hosts. He said also, Behold, what a weariness is it, that ye have snuffed it, saith the Lord of hosts. And he brought that which was torn, and the lame, and the sick. Thus he brought an offering. Should I upset this of your hand, saith the Lord. We'll read 14 together. But, but cursed be the deceiver, which had the flock of faith of meal, and vowed on sacrifice unto the Lord, a corruption thing, and I a great king, say the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the Eden. Praise God, the word of God is already blessed, but we are not going to say glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, now it shall be, word without end. Amen. Praise God. This morning, I just want to say thank God again that we are able to come together. Let me tell you something. I, what the pastor said um, on Monday night, it really registered um, in my head a way that it, I, it's just been nailing. When the pastor said, we have to know the truth, liabilities. What are liabilities? A lot of us might have a lot of things we lying around that we, we need to get rid of. Yes, and it is hindering our salvation. Praise be to the name of Jesus. And I like that what the pastor preached Monday night. It was so outstanding in my, um, you know, in my ears and my heart Monday night. Praise I just God. want to give God praise and honor for this week. Though. Trust Amen. me. Praise There's so God. much things this week that have happened. And it's an awesome week. I don't know if you have learned anything or you have gotten anything. But 
it's it's it has been a tremendous week. Wonderful um, words were spoken through the convention. I praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be to the name of Jesus. So we we'll have um we we'll just have our brother, Brother Cooper. He's gonna come and do the welcome for us this morning. Let's make him welcome. Blessed be to the name of Jesus. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise Shall we praise the Lord another time? It's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. So you wonderful ladies, I want to say a happy Mother's Day to each and every mother in the house. And those that are watching, happy Mother's Day to you. And Facebook, you stream. And my wife will work, happy Mother's Day to you. And God bless each and every one of you. This morning, I want to ask, is anyone here for the first, second, or third time? Please stand. We have one. Please stand and tell her who invite you to. God bless you. I'm Sharon, and I was invited by um, Sister Jennifer. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Good morning. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. And it is true. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Thank you. But um, I'm Julita, and um, nobody invited me. I was just passing by. Glory. Uh, I, I, I came on Monday night, and I came on Thursday night. Yeah, so I decided to come today again. Praise Thank the you. Lord. God bless you. <laughs> Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Janice. Um, I was invited by my sister, Sister Lawrence. That's me. Let me invite you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pastor, yes, you did. You did invite me. <laughs> but I finally came today. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. God bless each and every one of you. Praise the Lord. If you wasn't here today, those seats would have been empty. On behalf of our loving pastor and his lovely wife, Amen. Amen. Brother Delroy Chambers, Dr. Yvonne Chambers, yes. I want to wish you a happy, wonderful Mother's Day. Amen. Give me a hug. And every mother's out there, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the service. Back to the moderator. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Um, Sister Jenny is came, I guess. Um, Sister Lawrence was more convincing pastor, right? <laughs> Praise God. So we'll stand for the um we'll sing our next song before we praise God. If the world from yeah, page fourteen. Praise God. If the world from you withhold of its silver and its gold, and you have to get along with make a fair, oh, just remember in his word how he feeds the little birds. Take your bird and take it to the Lord and leave it there. Oh, leave it there. Why won't you leave your burdens there? Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Trust in the Lord and never doubt. He will surely, surely bring you out. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Oh, if your body suffers pain, and your health you can't regain and your soul is almost sinking in despair oh jesus knows the pain you feel he can save and he can heal take your burdens take it to the lord and leave it there oh leave it there leave it there why won't you leave 
your burdens there. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Trust in the Lord and never doubt. He will surely, surely bring you out. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. When your enemies assail, and your heart begins to fail, don't forget that God in heaven answers prayer. Oh, he will make a way for you, and will lead you safely through. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Oh, leave it there, leave it there. Well, I want to leave your burdens there. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Trust in the Lord and never doubt. He will surely, surely bring you out. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Oh, when your youthful days are gone, and old age is stealing on, and your body bends beneath the weight of care, oh, he will never leave you then. He'll go with you to the end. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Leave it there, leave it there, leave it there. Why won't you leave your burdens there? Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Trust in the Lord and never doubt. He will surely, surely bring you out. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Leave it there, oh, leave it there, leave it there. Why won't you leave your burdens there? Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Trust in the Lord and never doubt. He will surely, surely bring you out. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Oh, leave it there, leave it there. Why won't you leave your burdens there? Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Trust in the Lord and never doubt. He will surely, surely bring you out. Take your, take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord, and never doubt. He will surely, surely bring you out. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Oh, trust in the Lord, and never doubt. He will surely, surely bring you out. Take your burdens, take it to the Lord, and leave it there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Say, so take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Blessed be to the name of Jesus. So if you take, some people talk about, oh, I have some things to sort out first and I have this before that come in the church. Hell no. You got to take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. That's what the Bible says. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I think we have a small skit this, mor this morning to be done by, um, but I think minister is going to introduce so, um, our actors in this morning. So Amen. Praise Amen. be to the name of Jesus. Let's make um, our minister welcome. Uh, just a minute. Uh, we, 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 we. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Send the fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Oh, send the fire again. 
the Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire. Send the fire. The Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire again. The Holy Ghost fire. Oh, my burning in my soul. Hating cast a little Holy Ghost of fire. In my soul, oh, send the fire, the Holy Ghost fire, send the fire again, the Holy Ghost fire, oh, send the fire, the fire, the fire, the Holy Ghost fire, oh, send the fire again, the Holy Ghost fire. with a praise in your mouth. Come on, just wave your hands and praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a good day to worship. It's a good day to say hallelujah. It's a good day to say thank you, Jesus. It's, good, it's a good day to touch your neighbor and say, are you a mother? Wait for an answer. Wait for an answer. Are you a mother? Not as yet. I like that. Praise the name of the Lord. Say welcome, welcome, welcome. And, and, and can I say... <coughs> can we prophesy? Yes! Oh, glory. First send the husband. At, 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 a season as this. You will embrace a, a husband. Praise the Lord. And then the other season, yes. you will be a mother. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. So, we're just going to act, do a little acting, just change up our Mother's Day a little acting because um, 
we wanted to give. And I thought th that this year, <coughs> Minister had it all planned out, and she was on top of everything, just to tell you that I ordered some stuff, and half of it came, and the other half came the other day, and uh, they claim that the other half came the other day, and it was left outside by FedEx, and I'm really saved, because I don't touch FedEx yet. Uh, which I'm going to. Yes. And um, they didn't ring the doorbell. They we didn't sign for anything. But when we, when I opened the box, realizing that was just half of the gift, and asked FedEx, they say it was delivered on the Wednesday of last week, just to find out that there is no gift around. So they take claim for it. Because they know that were, they take the responsibility for it. Because they know they were really, they did a messy job. Right. You know, it wouldn't be UPS, it would be FedEx. Yeah. So my apology to all my wonderful mothers. Cause Amen. Praise the name of the Lord, sir. Oh, and this morning, um, a good member of another church gave us a number of pens. Call and, uh, and gave us a number of pens. So... Mothers, you will be getting only pen this week, but next week, I trust that the gifts will come, so you'll get double. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yeah, every mother will be getting. Could I give prospective mothers too? Yes. Okay. Yes. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'll do that. And you can take my word for it. Amen? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay, we're going to do no charge. And we want to just sit and watch Amen. as the mother and son will do it. It's a song done by Shirley Caesar. And I ask a mother and a real mother and a real son to come and do no charge. So they'll be doing it just now as pastor assist us in with the music
Come on, praise the Lord. For the night I sat up with you, doctor you, pray for you, no charge. No charge. Tears are in my eyes, you know. Because sometimes we charge God and God is saying no charge. No charge. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So I guess that something has reached you with that one. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I thank God I was trying to find and to find. And then suddenly Sister Lawrence and Davon came in mind. And I told them they, they did it all by themselves. Come on. I, 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 did, I didn't even put an approval on it. Like, tell me what you did. They did it all by themselves. So give it up for them. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We have it in the house. Yes. Ooh. Stir it up. Come on. We just need to stir it up. Stir it up. Yes. And some people are shy and they don't want to do, but the Lord will provide because it's in the house. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. When you add it all up. Yeah. Now I know where to go. No minister know where to go. Praise the name of the Lord. We also have another little skit that we're going to do. Are we ready? It is Mother's Day. Yeah. We're going to do it a little different. It's a form of a poem. So... I read. Praise God. The woman was old and ragged and gray and bent near the chill of the winter's day. The street was wet with the recent snow and the woman's feet were aged and slow. At the crossing, she waited long, alone, uncared for amid the throng of human beings who passed her by, unheeding the glance of her anxious eye. Down the street with laughter and shout, glad in the freedom of school let out, came a happy boy like a flock of sheep, hailing the snow pile wide and deep. Past the woman so old and gray, hasten the children on their way. None offered a helping hand to her, so meek, weak and timid, afraid to stir, lest the carriage feet or the horse's feet, the carriage wheel or the horse's feet, should crowd her down on the slippery street. At last came out one of the merry troop, the gayest boy of all the group. He paused beside her and whispered low, I'll help you across if you wish to go. Her aged hand on his strong arm, she placed, and so without hurt or harm, he guided her trembling feet along. Proud that his own were young and strong. Then back to his friends he went. And so back to his friends he went to help my mother, you understand. Ever she's so old and poor and gray, and her own dear boy is far away. Somebody's mother owned low her head in her home that night. And she prayed, she said, was God be kind to that noble boy who is somebody's son and pride and joy. Praise the name of the Lord. So 
So the young man helped the woman across. He stood out in the group. And he helped her across. Across the street. That somebody, mother. What he was saying in accent is that one day his mother will be old and poor. Old and slow. Leave out the poor part. And somebody else would have to lend a helping hand to her. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. the Lord. So as we go along each day, let us lend a helping hand. Not only to a mother, but somebody that needs a helping hand. I turn over back the service to Brother Lawrence. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of Jesus. I was minister saying we are going places. Yes. Uh, touch your neighbor and say we're going places. Praise we're God. Places. Hallelujah. Praise God. I come this far and I find no fault. fault. I keep going on. I come this far and I find no fault. I feel like going on. I come this far. I no fault. I feel like going on. I come this far and I find no fault. I feel like going on. I come this far. I come this far and I find no fault. I feel like going on. I come this far and I find no fault. I feel like going on Trials, testing, travels all around I come this far and I find no fault I feel like going on Come this far, I come this far and I find no fault I feel like going on Come this far, I come this far and I find no fault Troubles all around. I come this far and I find no fault. I feel like going on. Come this far, I come this far and I find no fault. I feel like going on. I come this far and I find no fault. Feel like going on. Trials, testing. Praise God. And before before we have the um the announcement, I just want to ask is, is there anyone who wanna come and tell us what they learned or gathered from this week convention? Any one person can come on. Oh, okay. Praise God. We have somebody who wants to give a testimony, but is there anyone who wants to tell us first what they learned from anybody wanna say anything what they gathered from this convention? Praise God. So we'll just invite Sister Rose. She says um, she have a testimony for us this morning. Praise God. It's kind of sad that we, um, nobody can talk what they learned from the convention this morning. Praise God. 
We can't think about it while Sister Rose is um, they're making her testimony. Praise God. Let's praise the Lord, brethren. Praise the Lord, brethren. I had one night into the convention. And I'm going to tell you, sorry, I didn't have more night. But hopefully for next year, things will be better with me and my work. I want to share a testimony to the international and local. And everyone who is listening, yes. I hope you get something from it. Yes, On the 3rd of this month, I went to the bank to get my rent money. And then I went to the tailor, put my money in my pants pocket on my right side. I try my stuff them that I asked him to fix for me. I leave and I went about my business. <coughs> went to another store. I went to step out the store to cross a, a flat bush and regions. The Lord gave me a job, something to do for you and minister. I say, I will do it. And as soon as I say, I will do it, I don't know how this hand reach across here. And when this hand reach across here, I said, Jesus, where is my money? My waist seem like it's separate from my top. One sharp pain around here, down on my knees. I heard the Holy Spirit say, Lee. I take my phone and I call him. I say, Lee, can you go into the place that I was changing my clothes to? And see if you find my money in there. He said, come. I said, come. He said, yes. I had to take my time to walk again instantly. Because everything slammed me drop from connection. There was no connection between here and here. And I had to take my time and walk again. A young man went in after me. I don't know who he is and I hope he's listening. And when he find my envelope... He said, the young lady who was in here, drop her envelope. When he opened it first, they asked him, why you never just take it and go, because there's no name on it. He said, it's not mine. I can't take it. That went on, and uh, from my understanding, he checked it. He said, no, this is that lady who was in here rent money. I can never take her rent money. I give God thanks. I give him thanks. He was waiting for me to come back to give me my envelope. Yes. But as I said, I had to take my time to learn to walk again. And when I get there, the young man was gone. A lady who I met there was still there. Another lady come in and she said to me, Oh, how you lucky, so? We said, No, girl, I'm blessing this. This is blessing beyond blessing. Yes. I said, this ain't no luck. I don't deal with luck. Yes. I deal with blessing and favor from God. She said, I just lost my phone. A high-tech phone. I said, girl, sorry to hear from about it, but. And another lady come in and she said, boy, I wish I come in earlier because I've been enjoying in Florida. I said to her, you'd have never reached Florida with my money. I said, don't you ever, ever, ever Play with a tider. Yeah. When you tide, yeah. God will always make a way. When you give, look into the congregation. Don't have to tell your right hand what you're going to do with your left hand. But look in the congregation. There must be a need in the congregation. I said when I said to the Lord, and I turned around and said, Lord, why you ask me that question when you know definitely I don't withhold anything from my pastors? Why? Yes, that's true. I said, but you know what? <coughs> Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes, and I'm here to say, brethren, let us trust God. Yes. Let us trust God because God, if it wasn't for the mercy of God, I would have to find another $1,300 to pay my rent yes. for this month. But God makes the difference. Yes. So let's stay true. Let's hold on to the unchanging hand and he will make a way that seems as no way. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now that's a testimony. That's, that is the work of God. Blessed be to the name of Jesus. Stay on a copy. Like, I want to say something. Blessed be to the name of Jesus. Praise, 
Praise God. Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Praise God. I'm thanking God for the plan of salvation. Monday night, I wasn't here, but I watched it on YouTube, and the message came home to me about liability. And I look within myself, and at times there are things there, and we don't really pay attention to it. And when I look, I realize I have liability that I need to put aside. Praise be to God. And my determination is to amend. Each time I come to church, no matter who preach, there is always a word for me. And is, there is always something that helped me either to grow or to amend my ways. Tuesday night, it was Tuesday night, he said, stir up the gift. I know that's me. Wednesday night, I'm sorry, Wednesday night. I know that's me. I know that there is gift in me to stir up, but I lay dormant. I lay, I know I'm too comfortable. And if I, you know, I, I don't know, but I know that there is something in me that the Lord wanted to use. And this message, I'm going to use it to the glory of God. You know, each time the preacher or whosoever preach. The word sometimes it just go like that. And there are so many of us yeah. who that word belongs to. Yeah. I'm telling you, this convention, I'm growing. Yeah. I'm growing in the Lord. Yeah. And I'm trying my best, my very best to amend my ways. Yeah. Not to please man, but to please Almighty God. Yeah. Because I know he placed every one of us here for his use and for his glory. Yeah. My determination is to continue to seek the Lord in Jesus' name. Praise God. We, we need to grow and we all just have to get determined and to know what our purpose is and to put it in practice. Praise God. Let's make our uh, Minister Edwards welcome. She has something she wants to say also. We bless the Lord. Praise God. There was so much in the convention for us to take. Glory be to God. I tell you, Virgin, I'm working with this company and this man is taking... They get the bulk, he got the bulk, and yes, the little that he gave us, he's taking from us, robbing us. But the Bible says we're not to curse them. But I wonder if God really, really understands us when we talk about them. And I tell you, brethren, when I go to the bank and see what the man, after I work so much, and I went to the bank and what he puts in, and when I text him, I text him before and tell him the amount of hours, 96 hours. I text him and I tell him. And when he put the amount in the bank, I came on, I text him again. I said, no, the amount is not right. I said, call me. Virgin is, did not call me. It, I text him. I said, I'm waiting for the call. And Virgin, when I was, uh, I was sitting down there, and I remember that Tuesday night, the preacher said, stir up the gift. That is in you. And I start to stir. Glory be to God. I stir and I stir. And it's six o'clock. He called me. I'm getting ready to leave to come to church. And I said, God, this is the time he called. I'm here sit. I didn't leave the house the whole day. Just waiting for him to call. When he called and I told, uh, 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 easy from, oh, yes, I pay you for, for that one. Uh, uh, but I, I, mis, I misplaced another one. I didn't. I said, I need my money in the bank. I need it. In the name of Jesus, I need it. Brethren, when we come and the preacher preach the word, just don't take it lightly. Go home and utilize it. Go home and take it. I stir up my gift. And you got to give me my money. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, at this time we um, we'll get ready for the, the tithes and offering. And listen, we have our um, let's remake, remind us that our annual break, prayer breakfast yeah. is in two weeks. Yeah. The next two weeks, um, you, um, you will be getting further notice on, on that. And Praise God. It will um, be done in, in Sullivan Place, the same place we had it um, for the past, yeah, the past three years. Right. 
Church One Sullivan, please. Praise be to the name of Jesus. I rather than silver or gold, I'd rather wishes and told. I'd rather than ever. I'd rather be true. To his holy name than to be a king of a vast domain and be held in sin, judge so. Jesus than anything this world affords today. I rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I rather be his than every riches untold. I rather have Jesus than world's wide fame. I rather be led by his holy name than to be the king of a vast domain and be held in sin dread so oh I rather have Jesus than anything this world Afford today than to be a king of a vast domain and be held in sin, dread sweat. This world affords today. Bless be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, everybody else can give a test on the meantime while we are sweet and pastor. Everybody else, praise God. Hallelujah. The pastor said that um, sin. Praise God. Can hold you longer than you intend to. That's a serious statement. Praise be to the name of Jesus. He said that sin will cause you to do it from one to the other. Because you have to sin. When you sin, you have to lie to cover the other. So he said that sin holds you longer than you intend. Praise God. So what he's saying is that we need to cease from practicing sin and to practice more to serve and to follow the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Amen. Christ. Praise, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. 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 We are truly blessed mm -hmm. to have such a merciful God this morning. Mm -hmm. And that's we are we are able to stand here or to sit here and to can congregate with each other this morning just to give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God.
praise the Lord. Come on, let's praise the Lord. All right, I'm sitting here thinking about what to say, but I, I did learn a lot in the con convention. It, was an awesome, it is an awesome topic, um, theme of the convention, what do you have in the house? And the man of God and the woman of God um, remind us that there's so many things that we, could ha that we have in the house that we fail to use them up. And you know, you reminded uh, you know, which one of the the one that stand out about we said there's the, the the gift of faith that is within us that we need to activate the faith so that you know we can store up the gifts that is in because faith, you know, without faith we cannot, you know, but the faith move God, right? So I was really, really blessed by it, you know, getting rid of talking about getting rid of the liabilities, the liabilities of sin, um, you know, the liabilities of, you know, doubt, I would say is also a liability. So we need to start to trust God more and seek God more and use up the asset that God has given unto us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So it is an awesome topic. And I, you know, I just want to continue to worship God and give him the best praise that he deserved. Truly, I enjoy myself so much that I even lost my voice. I was worshiping God so much that I, you know, my top hold, I said to my husband that I, I burst some kind of something on my voice. He started to laugh and say, you always say some dumbest thing. I said, well, I, I don't know what I burst. I burst something while I was just worshiping. But I don't mind that once, once I lost my voice to God, I don't care. Because my heart and my desire is to continue to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So God bless you. Praise God. The theme was what do you have in the house? Praise God. I pray we all have the right thing and we have what we call... Um, assets and not liability. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Praise God. For me, the convention, what do you have in the house? I was looking at it from the, the viewpoint of, of renovating your house and when you're going to renovate your house there are things the the liability the things that are not working in that house you're going to get rid of it Glory. and there is a beam in the house that that is called the load bearing beam we are like for this building the load bearing beams all up the from the top to the bottom so it doesn't cave in and if that load bearing beam is made out of wood you have um that they um what they call it that heat the wood what it name again termites begin to heat the the, the beam and it can cause the whole entire structure to, 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 to come down. And so, when we are going to get rid of the liability, we have to make sure that when, if, if the load-bearing beam is the problem, we have to replace it with something that can withstand all the pressures that when it comes. Because sometimes in our house, it, it, we have doubt and, and we have fear. And instead of casting the care upon God, we begin to carry the heavy load. So we have to shore up the load-bearing beam that, that you, we give it over to God. Amen. So if the problem is the, that, that, that we are carrying the cares instead of allowing God to care, we have to get it out of our house yes. so that God is able to bless us. Hallelujah. Another thing when you are when you are refurbishing a house now they have open concept where the, from the kitchen to the to the to the living room you can see everything. And if there is a wall that is barring from the kitchen to the living room and you want to get rid of that wall and so you when you allow the Holy Spirit to come in and move that war, that sin, that, the, that some of us are so unforgiving, so spiteful. 
in our in the way in which we conduct ourselves and so if that is the problem is if, if it's unforgiveness if you cannot let go of the thing hallelujah you have to make sure you lick out that wall that the holy spirit can see from back to front that is how we restructure our house so when, 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 it, when it's said that we have to get rid of the liability, and so those are some of the liability that we hang on to something. If somebody says something to you and it hurts you, instead of we going to the person and circle it, we begin to hold it on until it begins to, to, to grow roots. And that add to other things. And so, we got to tear down the wall and allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us. So for me, I begin to look within myself. Because I want the Holy Spirit to search me. And to show me where I am coming short. Glory. Where I have come short. Where I should be, be at a higher level with him than where I am today. So I have to search myself to find out where in my house the liabilities are so that God can come in and bless me continuously. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Uh, we, we, we just, I'm um, going to speak up the offering meantime. Let's have a short prayer. Are we not finding the pledge? Praise God. You know it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, so, uh, Heavenly Father, let's, let's please stand. Please stand. Heavenly Father, most righteous God, this morning we give you praise and honor. We thank you, Lord God, that you have given us the privilege and the opportunity that we can come before your presence again another day to lift you up and to give you the honors and praise. We thank you this morning, God, for this service. And this portion service, as we are about, dear Lord God, to give back a portion that you have blessed us with. I ask you, Heavenly Father, that you touched everyone this morning, that they give us this morning, Almighty God. Everyone that has to give, touch them, and especially those that don't have to give, dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to cover them and provide for them also, Almighty God, that they will have at another time to give, even in abundantly, we pray in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks and praise this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. The ushers will instruct you to come. Praise God. Oh, lift Jesus higher, a little higher, to, to eternity. He said, if I be lifted up from this earth, I will draw. All men on to me. Lift Jesus higher. Lift him higher. A little higher. Higher, higher. Lift him up for the world to see. He said it right. Be lifted up from this earth. I will draw all men on to me. Higher. Lift him higher, 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 higher. Lift higher. him up for the world to see. He said, If I be lifted up from this earth, I will draw all men on to me. Lift him higher, lift him higher, higher, higher. Lift him up for the world to see. He said, If I be lifted up from this earth, I will draw all men on to me. Lift Jesus higher, lift him higher, a little higher, higher, higher. Lift him up for the world. If I be 
lifted up from this earth I will draw all men on to me he said if I be lifted up from this earth I will draw all men on to me praise God Praise the Lord. Um, sister, we have a, a, yeah. Okay, please make our, way, our minister welcome. Praise God. From this earth I will draw all men on to me. Lift them higher. Jesus higher. Higher, higher. A little higher. Somebody say higher. From this earth to eternity, he's edified. Yeah, yeah. He lifted up from this earth. I will draw all men on to me. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, give God a praise in the house. Hallelujah. And we bless your name. Hallelujah. To all the wonderful mothers in the house. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We have a little gift for you. Could you come at this time? Could all the mothers, the lovely mothers here. I have to stay here because I'm the oldest mother. So, how many men are in the house? Oh, no mother, no dada, oh, no no, oh, no, no ear. Did I say come mothers to the front? You didn't understand. Let go. When mother of sin to Jesus, yeah. the, the men will bring the roses back and bear them the part. Not this for the little children. No, they don't want to suffer the little children. They are grown women. Praise God. Oh, there are wonderful mothers here. Amen. So I'm just going to ask one question to Sister Jennifer. What does it feel like to be a mother? Praise the Lord. It feels very good to be a mother. I feel blessed that I'm a mother today. Because there's a lot out there would like to be one and cannot be one. Amen. So I just have to give God thanks and give him praise. And give, always just be for him every day of my life. Praise, praise God. Lord. You know, we have children. Some of us have children. We don't know where they are today. But you know, those who have and know where they are today, we have to give God thanks. Just lift your hand and give God glory for that. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What does it feel to be a mother? It's really an awesome feeling to be a mother. As was said by Sister Jennifer before, a lot of mothers would be out, out here today would like to be a mother and they are not. And so it, it feels very great to have your kids, you know, tell you happy mothers they have them to, to, you know, say loving words to you and kind words to you that's really really wonderful it's a blessing really to be a mother because god teaches us that the children are an heritage of the lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward 
and he says in the latter verse of Psalm 127 that happy half the mother, happy half the woman who have his quiver full of them. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So the rest of the congregation will be handing out roses to the mother. Hallelujah. Don't scatter roses while she's gone. Don't scatter roses. Nobody know that song? I'm not, I'm not talking about a little part of the chorus, you know, because that's the thing you uh, rescue eyes pull on me. And you know the song? I you sing two, ver uh, two words out of the chorus and tell me you know the song. That is not knowing the song, no. You're talking about from four, four, three verses and the chorus. Tell me now you don't know it. No, you don't know it. Okay. And the love. That she you know all of that song, right? Okay, good do it then. Kneeling by my bedside, I could still hear my mama pray. The children are depending on you, so don't you let them down. I remember mama in a happy way. Remember mama in a happy way. We went to school with holes in our shoes. We didn't have much, but the Lord saw us through. Our mama kept the family together. Together, yes, she did. I remember mama in a happy way. I remember mama in a happy way. She packed a lunch in an old greasy bag. It might seem empty. But it was more than others had. Oh, mama had a lot of love way down deep inside. Yes, she did. I remember mama in a happy way. I remember mama. I remember mama in a happy way. See, I remember mama. I remember mama in a happy way. I remember mama, I remember mama in a happy way. I My remember mama is sleeping in the bosom of Jesus Christ. Christ. Take it to Salicia. Although my mama's gone. Yes. She's right here in our heart. Yeah. We all gonna pull together Ooh. and stay in the holy way. Sing the song. I, I remember, remember mama, mama in a happy way. I remember mama in a happy way. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Um, Praise the Lord. Minister Chambers. You could come for Let us all stand. We just want to. Because. And we are for rescue. And we all love you, Minister. You're the mother for us. You're our mother in Christ. And we are we all appreciate you and we love you so much and the token of rescue the perishing they want to give you this card. Happy Mother's Day. We all love you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's two me want. Amen. One for my husband and one for me. Amen. Happy Father's Day.
God bless you, everyone. Um, well, it didn't work out too bad, but the, the, the it wasn't it wasn't too bad, right? Yeah. yeah. I tried. I did try it. So, on next week, we it will be added more gift. Amen. Thank God for the men. Yeah. So I have something for Minister Douglas. Her birthday. Oh, yes. Um, yes. Yes. Minister I Douglas. Come, Minister Douglas. Well, Minister, Minister Douglas, you lucky Mother's Day and birthday. Bless. I want to bless you. Yeah. You have two blessings. Yes, and God. we have a rescue. We just want to say happy birthday. Yes. I may God continue to bless you and keep you, Minister. Thank you. And you live to see many, many more birthdays. Praise, 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come, let me help you up, because we're now going to ask you, how oh, old are you? Oh, hold on. Could, you, could we all stand at this time, keep standing? Thank you, mothers, and I thank you for understanding. Here's, just before our pastor comes, Sister Smith, I didn't know you have so much uh, beautiful daughters. Her daughters are here today, and... Um, who oh, is Sister Smith? Yeah. That's Sister Smith. Yeah. I thought it was two daughters here today. One, okay, okay. Thank God for her. Praise the name of the Lord. We wanted to put your hands together. And welcome our pastor as he comes to share a word with mothers and fathers and children and sisters and brother there's a word for everyone here today amen, amen. so let us just focus let us open our hearts and our spirits praise the name of the lord and take what is yours amen, amen. praise the name of the lord pastor chambers where are you sir praise, praise the name of the lord Come on, somebody love the Lord, love the Lord, love him. Lift your hands and love him all over this house. Father, we worship. Father, we honor you. We magnify you, Lord. You are worthy of praise, worthy of glory, worthy of honor. Come on, help me bless him. Help me bless him. Help me bless him for he is worthy, he is worthy. I love you, Lord. And I live. My voice to worship you, O oh, my soul. Rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear, in what you sweet, sweet sound in your ears. One more time, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. If you had not said, and I lift my voice to worship, to worship. worship the Lord everybody come on father we thank you father we bless you 
Father, we appreciate you. We honor you because of who you are. Come on, open your mouth. Come on, everybody. Open your mouth on this Mother's Day. And let's Shabbat the Lord. Let's honor the Lord. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is great. For the Lord is kind. He's more than enough. He is to be worshipped. He is to be honored. He is to be magnified. He is to be glorified. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. God is a good God. God is a great God. God is a mighty God. He is the everlasting Father. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the bridge over troubled water. Somebody love him up, love him up, love him up on this second Sunday. Hallelujah. In the year of May. Hallelujah. 2017. We give him praise. Amen. Keep standing, please. Good to have you here today. I greet you all in the name of the Lord. I'm glad that you chose to come today. You could have stayed home like some or gone somewhere else like the others, but you are here today. And we really thank God for you. Amen. Being in the house of the Lord today. I want to thank God for my darling wife. Amen. Amen. Somebody celebrate her today. Come on, say thank God for my wife. Thank God the day that it was a good day that I married to you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Good day. She's a good woman. I love her very much. Amen. A very good woman indeed. I want to greet the ministers here. Amen. Those who are absent i greet you those watching amen when we're watching us we greet you in jesus name greeting right. to the evangelist here today evangelist dean evangelist lisa brown exhorter tashuna Patterson, exhorter amen virus um what's that last time again lawrence amen they gotta pray amen minister juliet douglas celebrated her birthday not to reach 100 as yet a couple of days um, was it Head in there past 50. Amen. Praise God. Minister Edwards. Amen. On all the brethren here, deaconesses, Datty, and all everybody, Christian workers. Everybody in the house, I greet you. Amen. And thank God for that lady who was passing by Monday night. And was it the TV that attracted you to come inside? Was it the TV that attracts you? Amen. God bless you. Glad to have you. Amen. Amen. Repeat that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Glad to have you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Good to have also Sister Exalt a very sister and evangelist Dean's sister. Yeah. Mikey's mother. Well, let me invite her. And she's here today. Yeah. Whether well, it was Auntie Vaya, Auntie Lawrence, or Auntie Dean, I was part of it too. Praise yeah. God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Good to see Vanessa. Yeah. I love Vanessa dearly. Amen. Justin is here with his sister today. Amen. And I'm happy that they are here. And uh, the gentleman, oh, he left. Amen. And good to see you all in the name of the Lord. Welcome. Is it your first time you're coming besides Sister Smith? Been? Oh, she's been to Rogers. Okay, glad to have you. All right. So she's a Mother's Day visitor, right? <laughs> glad to have you come celebrate with your mother and mothers. It's wonderful. Amen. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Amen. And for all those you watching me, I say happy Mother's Day. To all the mothers watching me, all the mothers here today, happy Mother's Day to you. I called my mother this morning, wish happy Mother's Day. I called my sister in Florida, wish happy Mother's Day. Didn't get my other sister to tell happy Mother's Day. One in Jamaica, I didn't get to her. But happy Mother's Day. And to the mother of rescue the Persian, happy Mother's Day to you. I kept saying to my wife, I don't know if she accepted because she lost a child to miscarriage many years ago. 
So that child would have been probably 30 plus years now. So she's a mother. And did you know that that child is in heaven? Did you know once there's a conception in the eyes of God, it is recorded in the book of life. I recorded in the book. David said, when I was conceived in secret, thou have seen my substance. Amen. So every child that has been aborted is in heaven right now. You better know that. Amen. Every child that has been aborted is in heaven. Every miscarriage is in heaven because it, in the sight of God, God sees it as a child. That's why abortion is murder. He said, that's why abortion is murder. Because if you murder a fetus, you call it two months, three months, there's no difference than a 30-year-old person. And same life. One out and one in. I see him live. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Where's Ariana? Ariana, come up here, baby. You may be seated, church. Let me see that. Come up here. Come up here. You broke me up Sunday. You make tears come to my eyes Sunday. You are such a blessing, Sunday baby. Amen. You are such a man. You, 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 you dance, dear God. I mean, honestly, I think you got a book ready to go somewhere. Somebody book here ready to go somewhere. I mean, she, she was turn on this year. She was such a blessing, dear God. I mean, there was no shyness in it. I mean, you, you did well, okay, sweetheart. And I didn't see you since Sunday. Some said, congratulations. One of these days, I'm going to give you a certificate. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Keep seat, baby. Amen. I appreciate them from early. All right, Church of God? Yes, I appreciate them from early. I want us to go to the scripture we have in convention. Please let us stand. I was read a couple of verses. And there will be no service tonight. Amen. So, somebody will be having a service here tonight. So, let us all stand. And of course, we know there's a boat ride coming up, and also Sight and Sound and Prayer Breakfast is the last Saturday in this month, and tickets will be available next week. Of course, you all know we should have a calendar. And just to let you know that um, Hope Concert is um, postponed for the time being. It's on your calendar until a later date. All right, everybody? Amen. All right, amen. I know it's on your church calendar that they should have one, I think, would be next week. All right. Okay, if everybody see a car key anywhere in the place, you don't lock up in the car, Sir Jennifer. Everybody see a car key about the place? It belongs to Sister Jennifer. She has to leave because she got to go to work. Amen. Praise God. Okay, 2 Kings chapter 4. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be born men. And Elijah said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me what hast thou in the house. And she said, Thine handmaid had not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow thee vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when thou art coming, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shalt pour out unto all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass, when the vessel were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more, on the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God. And he said, Go sell the oil and pay thy debt. And live thou and thy children of the rest. Father, we thank you today for your word. Lord, we cannot exhaust your word, God. Your word is life. Your word is quick. And your word is powerful, God Almighty. 
Father, as I share your word with your people tonight, grant clarity to thy servant. Let somebody leave blessed on this Mother's Day, God. Let their life be transformed, God Almighty. We thank you and we bless you and we honor you and we glorify you even now in Jesus' name. And you may be seated with a praise in your mouth, my wife would say. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory to God. God indeed is a good God. Don't cut off my head, Sister Amore in the control room. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is to be worshipped. God is let people see my complete head. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. The Lord gave me this theme for convention. I don't remember how I heard it, but I know. I've heard it. What do you have in the house? And Bishop Sutton touched on about liability. He spoke on faith. He spoke on the stirring up the gifts. Then evangelist Jesset Cox spoke about the potential that is in the house. She spoke about there was debt in the house. There was debt in the house. And what was the next D? There was another D she mentioned. Debt. Distress. Debt. And death. But also potential was in the house. And everybody has something in their house. Every person here has something in the house. So not just that she had oil that represent the anointing that would bring forth her deliverance. Amen. But we all need to ask ourselves, what do I have? in my house what do i have in this house some people have anxiety there's fear in some houses there is lying in some houses amen there is distrust in some houses because some people cannot trust nobody at all that means that is within that person's house but today on this mother's day what a tremendous Day to look at a mother who cares about her sons. Can somebody say hallelujah? A caring mother who decided that whatever it takes to keep her sons or her children together, she was willing to pay the price. Can you say amen somebody? And I thank God that she knew where to go. Because if we don't know where to go when trouble come, we may end up at the wrong place. Can you say something down there? And so the Bible said, now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha saying, thy servant, my husband is dead. Now, let's do some teaching here. She said, thy servant, my husband, is dead. So this husband was serving Elisha. Yes. She was serving uh, the man of God. And church of God, if we serve any of God's people, God in turn will reward us. Yes. I am glad for the testimony of Sister Rose. Yes. And when you are a tither, God must protect your stuff. Yeah. Can somebody say amen? Yeah. And I can truly say she is a cider, not just a cider, but she would bless my wife more than one time. And so the Bible says uh, God will rebuke the devourer. So God allowed the right person to go into the place, saw the envelope, and could not put it in his pocket. Can somebody praise God? I mean, it's a good place to shout. Because God knew that she had need of this money. 
Not only shall need of it, God covers what belongs to her. Oh, good God Almighty, somebody say amen down there. Because when we give to God, God must protect what we have. Oh, God Almighty, that's why Satan wanted to touch what Job had, but he couldn't touch it. He says, he said to the Lord, you made a hedge around him. So every time I want to destroy what he had, there was protection protection around him now you tell me who could find so much money now in a time like this and hand it over it must be that the hand of the lord even if he had an intention to take the money he couldn't hold it because god knew that his servant have need for the funds and the lord knew that she is a tither that she blessed the ministry not only in tithing but also what you do otherwise for the ministry can somebody help me and give god praise and God is no man's debtor. If you take care of God's business, he'll take care of your business. Uh, shout and praise him on this mother's day. So she said to Elisha, thy servant, my husband, is dead. My husband was serving you. Now he is dead. And my husband left a debt, whether it was so or not, only God knows. And I'll tell you why I say what I say. Did you know, Church of God, <coughs> did you know that there are people who will take, what is what I'm looking for, will abuse some situation because they know that somebody who had some information or it's not around anymore. And so they will come and even made up some story to deprive you of things. So there could be a possibility that the husband never owed no money. But they came to her anyhow and said, your husband owe some money. And we want our money. And they knew then that the only way they could get paid, they knew that this mother never had no money whatsoever. Amen. And they knew that the only how, way they could get paid is her two sons would have to become bond men. Otherwise, they will become slaves. But thank God when you serve God, God uh, and serve uh, the people of God. Uh, God will drop in your heart some wisdom, uh, some move to make. Uh, and thank God, uh, as I said before, she went to the right place. Uh, she saw the man of God. She knew Elisha was a servant of God. She knew the man was anointed. Just receive the anointing from Elijah. She knew that he was walking a certain way. And she went to him and said, The creditors have come to take my two sons. But any loving mother will hold on to their children. Even when it seems like like uh, they are going astray you know the pain it took you the bad feelings uh, the sensation you had uh, to bring forth this child uh, and so you decided not all of what i've been through no devil will get my sons uh, no bad man uh, because the bad men here represent the devil uh, hallelujah come on somebody elisha represent the savior can you say something uh, and she went to the savior and god would say instruct her what to do so to speak we're talking about now typology in uh, when we're doing uh, bible in bible school so he was like a type of christ the, 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 the bondman or type of the enemy that want to come and bring uh, the sons into bondage but she went to a place where she got the right answer it's important also you need to know who to talk to the time of crisis because there are people who will give you wrong advice 
Talk to me, somebody. They'll come and tell him, dear, based on all things, look now, uh, you need some protection. You got to go and look some help somewhere. But the song man says that the Bible says, my help cometh from the Lord. Oh, somebody celebrate his goodness today. My help is in the Lord. And so she went to, I don't think Elisha had any money. Because she recognized this man, because it was Elisha was working. But she went to the man of God who was in touch with God. And brethren, this is where the Lord want us to go. Go to people who are in touch with God. It's not everybody come church is in touch with God. It's not everybody shout is in touch with God. It's not everybody preach is in touch with God. That's why the Bible said you must try the spirit whether it be of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world. But she went to the man of God that her husband served. Now, to show that Elisha never had any money, Elisha said to her, what do you have in your house? Because had he got money, he would have helped her out. But he never had any money. And, and he said, he, she said to him, the servant had just bought a pot of oil. And you may be saying, what a little oil can do but then the man of God who was in touch with God said to her, otherwise, that's good. I'm going to make into an entrepreneur right now. So, get your sons. Go borrow vessels. And he says, watch this. Man of God says, not a few. This is important. He says, not a few. Because not so much now about the woman... But what God's servant said. Oh, I'm helping somebody right now. I'm helping somebody right now. You see, if, if we're not listening to whom God raised up, we can get in trouble. Because sometimes we can see some ideas. Let me use for example's sake. I said to two sisters last week before convention about um, pushing back the chairs to the wall. And somebody says, no, don't, don't, don't want any chair on the carpets. So for peace sake, I let it run. Amen, somebody. And, and so, Sunday, when the God begins to allow people to come in, they have to start push chairs to the, to the wall and pack out chairs and a carpet. And all these persons they have, you know what I'm talking about, Minister <laughs> All these persons they have good intentions. But brethren, good intention doesn't mean it's God. It may sound good, it may look good, it may appear good. And this is what is happening to some people. They listen to some, listen to some good intention, but it don't work. What works is what God said. Can somebody say amen? Can somebody say amen? That's why the Bible says, except the Lord build a house, they labor in vain that build it. It doesn't mean they won't build but if the Lord is not a part of the building, the labor is in vain. As somebody said, some went and some sent. And those who went, they're coming back. But those who sent will be stayed. Can you say, my church of God? I kept saying to us, this ministry will never go down. Even if it's my wife and myself left, it will never go down. Because we were sent by God. God, can somebody say amen? And God is able to, God said to Moses, step, step aside. Let me destroy these people and raise up another set of people. And Moses said, God, you can't do that. So God is able to do exceeding, abundantly, above all we can ask our thing. So get, get back to the story here. This woman knew that this man was in touch with God. And I trust God today that every person from rescue the perishing will seek to link up with somebody who's in touch with God. That when anybody come to us, we can tell them the truth and nothing about the truth. Whether they'll hear or whether they'll forbear, tell them the truth. No compromise.
rising. Amen, somebody. So Elijah said to her, what you have said, just a pot of oil. He said, look, man, go borrow a vessel, not a few. She may be wondering, what? Go borrow a vessel? That should have a question, Elisha. She knew he was a man of God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And so, the same boys that the creditors were coming for, she sent them to all the neighbors around. Go knock on the people them door and ask them to lend you some containers. And, and, and what look what the Lord did. Even if they had they never had any intention to, God would have stole their hearts to give. Just like when Israel was leaving Egypt. God put a fear on the Egyptians uh, that they, the Bible said Israel spoiled them. Uh, they had to give to them what they asked for. Whether they want to or not because the fear of God was upon them. Let me tell us all something. When the Lord is on your side and fighting for you, even those who want to hold back can't hold back on you. I'm telling you something. Uh, that is why that young man couldn't hold Sister Rose's money. Because God knows that woman is a giver and she's blessed. And so God, God didn't allow somebody else to go inside at that time. God allowed the right person to walk in. Her name was not on it, but the Lord knew who it belonged to. Amen, somebody. $1,200. If you were not a tithing of lost it, Sister Rose, surely lose it. Because God know you give to this ministry. You don't hold back your tithes. So God said, you cannot touch this. This belongs to my servant. Can you say amen somebody? Uh, don't, let me, don't let me start preach. Can somebody give God a praise down there? God will bless tithers. God doesn't bless robbers. God bless tithers. Can you say something down there? Now, we don't know how our husband died, but he died. Amen? And the, the Bible said, and thou knowest that my, and, and, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. She was saying to Elisha, you know my husband. He was a man of God. He walked in all integrity and honesty. And not Every person from church can get this recommendation. I cannot say this person is a person of integrity. Because based on the life, you couldn't say that. Unless you want to lie to please people. And Pastor Chambers will not lie to please nobody. Can somebody say amen? If you want the truth, come to me. If you don't want the truth, don't ask me. Because I'm going to tell you the truth and nothing but that. Truth, so help me God. Somebody say amen. She said, you know, my husband feared God. He was a man of God. He was walking as a servant of God. Now I'm in debt and they're coming for my sons. And I love my sons. I'm a concerned parent. I'm a concerned mother. I don't want to lose them. And so when she sent, when he said to her, go borrow a vessel. And she obeyed the man of God. Listen to this. She knew all she had wrote herself like a pot of oil. But she heard what God's servant said. And nevertheless, she went, she sent her children, and they knocked on every door they could find. And when they get at the vessel, she went back to the man of God. It's important to be in touch with servant of God who's in touch with God. And sometimes you may hear something that you don't want to hear. But that's what you need to hear. Oh, somebody say amen. There are some folks believe uh, there's nothing wrong for a Christian to marry to an unsaved because no man not in the church. The devil is a liar. The Bible said two can't walk unless they agree. And Pastor Chambers will tell you what the word of God says. You may not want to hear that, but that's what the word of God says. And anywhere you go and a preacher and a pastor cannot tell you the truth, you're at the wrong place. Can somebody talk to me down there? I want to hear the truth, Minister Douglas. Don't compromise. Tell me the word of God. She went, got the vessel, and the man of God said, close the door. 
Sometimes God will give you some information. Even those you may borrow from or got things from. God doesn't, doesn't mean that God won't even tell them what you're about to do. No. Man of God says, shut the door yes. and just pour. Can you imagine out of that, somebody sent me something on WhatsApp. And this is not a fake, this is a true story. It had to do with something similar like this with the woman here. This lady is a Christian. I think she's some, some part in Africa she's from. And she ordered some chemical. Now this chemical is a special type that make, I think, something like some jars. And it's got to be liquefied. It so happened that it becomes hard up. Yeah. And she had an order to be filled. And when she checked it out, the thing become hard. She had workers. And she said she called her mother. And the mother said to her, what are you going to do? She had an order to be filled. And she spoke back to her mother again. And mother said, what are you going to do? And she got on her knees and started to pray. The mother said, you know what to do. And then so while she was praying, she heard a voice said to, I think, to wrap a sheet, what's it that, around the container and put it, I think, somewhere, it was a sun or wherever, and cover it. And then she did that until the next day she went, and the thing become liquid. Again, watch this. And she started to make stuff. And... The more she pour, the thing not moving. They made how many dozen stuff from the liquor thing. I'm blaming somebody here today now. And she had placed an order for a new set. And she said, based on the number of container that the thing made, it was surprising the workers could not understand because she said, Lord, she want a no miracle. Things are no miracle. I know a no miracle. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And she made, I think, thousands out of it. And she said, as soon as the shipment arrived, the thing stopped flow. Because God was proving himself. Sometimes God may tell us, give the last dollar that you have. Give the last $10. Give the last $20. And so God may not, this is my rent money. It's my light money. If God knew before you tell him, God, if God know everything, if all we got to do is to hear what God says and move and do what God says. Can somebody say amen? So she, so she, locked, she locked the door and she just started to pour. And can you imagine, I want to get you inside the woman's room right now. Her two sons and this mother. And as she pour from the container, this filler put it aside. This filler put it aside. And the oil is not increasing, it stays on the same level and continue to flow. If I wonder, some people wonder how you're making it based on little that you have. They don't know it because of your connection with God. Kind of somebody, they said, but I don't know you're getting any extra money. How you survive? Because, man, I'm in touch with God. And God is instructing me. And God is instructing me. And so she pour the container they fill. She pour it fill. Look at this mother. Because this mother decided, these are my two sons. I'm going to keep my sons. I'm going to obey the man of God. Whatever it takes me, I'm going to do what the man of God says. And I did what he says. And then she, after the, the continents were filled, the mother says, give me that yet another continent. said, mama, there's no more container. And the Bible said, the oil stayed. Now watch the church of God. As long as we keep on praying, the oil will flow on us. As long as we stay connected to God, the oil will continue to pour. As long as there is room in our hearts for more of God, he will pour into us. And when we think there is no more room, when we stop, God says, okay, I stop too. 
watch this now. Then after that, this woman just follow instruction. Tell somebody to follow good instruction. Come on, say neighbor, follow good instruction. Follow what the man of God said to you. Listen to your pastor. If your pastor tell you to do this, don't go ask no brother and our sister. You think I should do this? Because your pastor must direct you the right way. In the right direction. Can you help me down here somebody? But sometimes pastor says something. And people went to some, go to somebody else and say. Pastor say this. But me not going to do it. You're not going to be successful. Because the Bible said. Obey them that have the rule over you. For they watch. Watch for your soul. If the pastor is not telling you anything that is sinful obey the man of God somebody make some noise down there watch these people of God watch these people of God after all the containers were filled she went back to where she got instruction from she went back to Elisha and says Elisha now the containers are filled he said now go sell watch this because Elisha was anointed and he uttered the words, God automatically opened a market for this woman. Ah, oh, Jesus. We need to understand, church of God, that if everybody was on the same level, you never need a pastor. So God give you a pastor who is in touch with him. So God would never bypass Moses and Aaron and go to the people. Amen somebody. So God give the pastor instruction to pastor the congregation. Watch what the Lord did. The, the Lord had the people in the desert for some days. And the Lord said, I cannot send them away lest they faint along the way. He said, is there anybody have any food? And somebody said, well, there's a lad here who just had five loaves and two fishes. But somebody said, what is that among so many people? But then the Lord said, let the people what? Talk to me, church. Let people. The Lord took the five loaves and two fishes. And he gave thanks and blessed. Who did he give it to? The disciples. And then the disciples gave it to the congregation. The Lord would not bypass the disciples to the congregation because God loves protocol. God loves order. God is a God of principle. Can you say my church of God? So this woman, she went back, this mother went back to Elisha and told him exactly, he said, now go sell. Now because as I said, Elisha opened his mouth and made such decoration, God had to open the market for her to be successful. When you're, I'm, and I'm helping somebody, when you come to your pastor and your pastor pray, God must hear. When your pastor make a declaration, God had to honor because he's the one that God sets up. Can somebody help me? So when she got out there, whether they want to buy oil or not, they had to buy it because a word came from the man of God go sell. And if this is going to sell, there must be a buyer. Hallelujah. And I can challenge some of us right now that some of us were Things were sold to us, and there's some stuff we buy. What's the difference? The difference is that you can walk into a store and you know what you want to buy. A salesperson can come and tell you about this product. So I'm telling you, man, this is a good one. This thing will help, man. This thing will work. So eventually, they sell you something. But there's stuff that you would normally buy without nobody saying anything to you. So God allowed people to buy her oil. Just come on the market. God made her into an entrepreneur. Because what? She went to the man of God. And the oil that she sold was the best oil oil on the market. Oh, good God Almighty. This was a miracle oil church of God. Amen, somebody. So anybody cook with that oil must be healed. Yeah, yeah. Must be delivered. Yeah. 
Oh, good God Almighty. Can you imagine somebody go and buy some more of that oil? I said, look, my health is getting better. I can see better. I can hear better. Can I talk to somebody? Because the hand of the Lord was on that oil. Oh, good God Almighty. Help me, Holy Ghost. The hand of the Lord was not only on the oil, but also on the woman that poured out the oil. So, because the oil was pouring, and that oil was flowing straight from the throne room of heaven. You tell me, how can a little pot of oil fill so much container? Had to be a source from glory. And sometimes we don't see it but if the Lord could open our eyes in the spirit to show us how he's pouring out in us, we'll be amazed and give God more praise and give God more glory. When I saw little Ariana, Sunday gone, it was her. Come on, somebody. That little child couldn't do what she do by herself. The hand of the Lord had to be upon her. Amen. That causes almost the people to stand up all over this place. It had to be. It just because you and I couldn't see what the Lord was doing in the realm of the spirit can somebody say hallelujah and sometimes you may see somebody singing or preaching if you can see in the realm of the spirit that the hand of the lord is upon that person that's the why they function the way they function why you think some of us have not met in accident it's not that satan never try but every time he try god and an angel and just shift things up can i talk to somebody and god just make a way you wonder how come I never crashed you should have crashed but right in the midst God just stepped in and God just moved on your behalf so what, watch what God did for this mother the Lord intervened on her behalf and God opened the door for people to buy the product I come to tell us church of God if we are moving according to what God said people will want to listen to us if we have something to say they will want to listen if we stayed in his presence until the anointing is flowed on us somebody will want to hear what we have to say shout yes down there somebody mm. watch it church look at this caring mother and so God opened the market because the prophet spoke a word. Yeah. And then she went back to the man of God. You know? She not. She was leaving him out of the picture. Stay in touch with your pastor. Don't go abroad and pass her here next day. So guess who's in Jamaica? Guess who? No, it shouldn't be church of God. Let your part be in touch with your pastor, with, me, with your leader. The leader can say, yes, I know she told me. Oh, yes, that one informed me. So the pastor can be aware of where you are. This woman kept in touch with Elisha. The Elisha said, go sell. Pay your debt. Now watch this. The, the creditors come the next day. God, God moves so fast for her. Moves so fast there, God. God is about to do some fast thing for some of us. I, 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 it just come in my spirit. God is about to move fast for some of us. Fast. Fast for some of us. Mm. Mm. What should take months will take probably days or hours. God is about to move fast. Watch this. Because if God doesn't move that way, it can end up to be detrimental for us. Had not a miracle happened for this woman, the creditors came with every intention that they are coming for the boys. You know what time Satan planned to come for your children, mothers? You see, if you're not covering them with prayer. You see, if you're not praying, some may even slip up, but it could be worse. If you were not interceding. When they come want to bring this one down. Like brother Job. Job prayed and interceded for his children lest they may commit sin he said so his prayer is not so much that even now as children were so perfect but now as a righteous man 
and because his righteousness cover his house in those days somebody say me, but we need to recognize because I'm living right in this house my righteousness will protect the house even if wicked people is in it okay give your scripture to back that up Paul was on his way on an island and storm came and things became dark the ship master wanted to kill or this one somebody want to kill off every prisoner but because of Paul yes. one righteous man was on the ship they said no we can't kill nobody right now it was one man's righteousness that protect the rest of them somebody say amen so we need to know that you being at your workplace you are bringing life to your workplace as a christian hallelujah it's good to have a christian around you it's good when you are living right before god because the bible says your righteousness shall be thy real reward you walk right and because of your righteousness it brings protection even to your surrounding Glory to God. Somebody help me here in this house. Hallelujah. And so they came with every intention to take these boys from the mother. But when they got there, the mother said, how much did you say my husband owe you? The mother said, woman, we're not coming here to waste no time, you know. Because they knew when they came before, she had no money. Oh, Jesus. Brethren, God is about to surprise some people. I said, God is about to surprise some people. They may know something about you now, but they don't know since they leave you, the experience you had with God during your absence. Oh God, tell somebody, I'm not where you left me. You may leave me at such a point. You think I'm still there now? No, I've been advanced since that time good god almighty it's like when jacob was on his way to meet his brother esau jacob the bible said tarried at jabok and while he tarried there an angel wrestled with jacob and then daybreak was coming the angel said let me go jacob said i will not let you go until you bless me the angel said what is your name mine i feel preaching coming on now he said my name is jacob the devil the angel said you talk the truth you're a thief you're a supplanter but as from today your name shall no longer be jacob but israel you may now come a prince hallelujah the man was transformed he was converted so when esau met him i feel something coming on me now esau couldn't touch him because the last time esau saw him he saw him as jacob but now when they met this time it was no longer Longer Jacob, but Israel is now a prince, he's now found peace with God, he has a new connection with God, and God is about to do that. There are some folks who knew you last week to be at a certain point, but they don't know that between last week and this week, something transpired. Can I feel preaching coming on now? Something transpired between you and God, and God has turned some things around so what they expect to see is a different scene what they expect to hear they won't hear that anymore because I met Jesus during your absence while you were gossiping I was fasting I was praying I was in touch with God and during that time I got a new anointing I tarried at Jabbok and the Lord changed me somebody shout down here and give God a praise so the enemy is coming but the enemy thought you are the same weaky weaky he thought you are the same good for nothing but during the absence you and God had some time together you spoke with God God touched your life God transformed your life like Samson hallelujah they pluck out his eyes they thought it was over but as times go by Samson here began to grow again and God anoint him one more time they thought it was the same person eyes they plucked out but 
you in your absence. Samson receive a new anointing and God is about to anoint somebody that the person that saw you the last time when they see you again they must say wow are you are the same person? No, it's not the same person because I have an encounter with God. Oh somebody help me here this afternoon during your absence I had an encounter with God that did not know when they were coming with every intention to carry the boys that God take took care of the widow and God is about to take care of some people there are some folks who believe it is over for you but the devil is a liar my best days are still ahead somebody shout in this house because in this house there is hope tell somebody in this house I have hope that things will get better in this house there is determination i will make it i will live and not die in this house there is a position to press on to go higher no retreat no surrender in this house there is joy to pursue the enemy in this house no weapon that form against me shall prosper in this house there is power in this house there's an anointing because I get connected to the Holy Ghost can somebody help me down there the enemy is coming he thought is the same all you but when he come somebody says surprise say surprise say surprise because the Holy Ghost is about to show up and let the devil know you thought you won but you have the last laugh no I have the last laugh because during your absence the Lord and I had a little talk the some months have come let us have a little talk with Jesus let us tell him all about our struggles he will hear our faintest cry he'll answer by and by somebody say in this house there is anointing raise your hand and say in this house there is an anointing to destroy yokes shut up on serpents bind scorpions rebuke devils cast out demons in this house there is power shout there is power in this house shout yes In this house here's an anointing so they came with every intention to take the boys they thought the mother was really showing off how much you owe woman don't waste my time I said how much did you say my husband owe you she just went in the house and says here's the money they left alarm God is about to shut up some people. God is about to close some mouths. There are some who thought that this ministry would come to an end. Thought that we're going nowhere. Even brethren right in this church. And one sister said to me, I had a meeting, said, why don't come Bible study? Because I know more than you. Somebody talk to me in this house. Hallelujah. They thought it would come to nothing. But when the Lord is on your side, victory shall be yours. It may look like sometimes things not working because of winter. And that winter leaves fall off trees. But spring is coming. Somebody say, Amen. Touch your neighbor. Spring is coming. This widow woman was going through a winter. But her spring came and money was available 
to pay the debt. Man of God said, pay your debt. And now go live and the rest. You and your children. It happened because this mother listened to the man of God. She was in touch with the servant of God. And she followed instruction. And if a parent would listen, children today get messed up because they never listen to parents. Yeah. And they want to put it on the flip side. Yeah. There are peer, children who mess up in the church because they don't listen to what their pastor says. Yes. Your pastor will give you the good guidance. Yeah. Some probably don't want to hear, but it's what you need to hear. Yeah. We'll instruct you the right way. Yeah. And because of that, this mother end up with her two sons still the, the enemy came with every intention to take them remember she was a widow husband dead now she become now childless the law would never allow that to happen because the lord knew her husband was faithful to the man of god if you are faithful church of god if you stand as you ought to stand as a child of god God will defend you. Amen. Even when it seems like it's not working. You know, we went to a banquet last night. Sister Monica, my wife and myself. Out of the blue, this lady start to sing, ride out your storm. God is there with you. Never saw my wife before. Just came over to her while she's singing and says, Right out your storm. And it tells me the storm is not forever. Yeah. And the lady was amazed when my wife stood up and started to talk. Because my wife thought she knew her why she was saying that to her. She was hearing out of my wife's mouth for the first time something she had been through. <laughs> and God is saying, right out your storm. So this storm will be passed. Amen. Amen. This storm will be over. So Miss Category 1, Category 2, Category 3, some of Category 4, some of Category 5. That's a rough one. But Storm does not come to stay. Every one of us will experience some storm. And God allows it to happen. Why? For his glory. He said in John 9, Neither did this, this man sin nor experience where he was born blind, but for the glory of God. And sometimes some things happen just for God to get glory. Because listen to this. The only time God can get glory is when things happen really. You know? And victory comes. Apart from that, there's no glory to God. Today, a concerned mother decided to go all out for the life of her children. I didn't know so many mothers were here today. Almost every mother, lady here is a mother. It means you have children. Are you willing to pay the price for your children? This woman went to the man of God. So there's Mother's Day. Good way to have this scripture today. This mother went to the man of God and said the creditors are coming. What must I do? And thank God she got good instruction. Mothers, you have children who are not saved. Will you allow the creditors to take your children? Will you allow them to come? Predators, creditors. To take your children as bond slaves. And sometimes when the enemy come and grab hold of them, he decided he won't let them go. Let them go. But if you're a praying mother, 
You're not only gonna pray, but you're gonna talk. Vandis Cox said on Thursday night, because of the company her daughter was keeping. Listen, go back to YouTube and listen to the video, put in RTPDM Vandalist Cox. Go back and listen to the tape. Because she was hanging out with a thing, lesbian, she said. That was not a good group. And because she talked to her daughter, daughter said, I hate you! And she slammed the door and locked the door. But she recognized that was a, a creditor. Wanted to take hold of my daughter. Yes, God gave her the force and she kicked off the door, she said. Yes. And went in there and hug her. And say, I love you. Hey, glory. Oh, yeah, about Sean, baby. So when you see your daughter is behaving away, said, the devil want to mess you yes. up, but I love you. Yes. Don't tell him, go on if you want to go on about your business. No, no, no. Your You've gone through such pain and discomfort and bad feelings, early morning feelings, and you're vomiting. There's some stuff you couldn't stand, stand to smell and eat. You've gone through too much to lose your children to the enemy. I want you to be good mothers, concerned parents. Well, last have you really prayed for your child or children? I don't mean you just mention article thing, you know. I mean, pray. Your, your, your labor. For the soul's sake. Not for them to have house or husband. This mother was concerned that they were coming to take them as bond men, as slaves. These children would have to work so hard. 